Hello guys, uh, how's everybody going? Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, design techniques that how uh, to create like projects like this. You know, usually like this project, uh, I think is in Copenhagen, um, in Europe. You see these pavements, right? These urban design pavements. You got a really um, coherent, you know, uh, texture or patterns that are showing up on the site it have a really strong sense of flow okay and the uh, movement to me it has a really strong hint of parametric design because it seems like uh, every line here or calculated uh, I think what they do is they are using a technique called um, line spreading uh, what it was is uh, basically um, if this was circle right so basically, um, they create a grid on um, because all this there's control points, right? Uh, let me show you. See here, these are all control points, right? I think what they they will um, like this control point, they will delete them, and they will keep other control points. So in the end, the lines just just gonna go around this area, okay? So basically, that's what the concept. Uh, what I want to show you is I create first create a grid and then I create a specific uh, algorithm to calculate the uh, the feed. What basically what this will do doing was uh, this is just like uh, delete the points in the circle. That's it. Okay, uh, you can see from here. It only keep the points out of a circle, okay. And also, you have to make sure the sequence of these circles, okay. And then in the end, what you see is something like that, okay. See here how they flow together, and all these lines have a sense of um, it's really coherent and all fit to the context really well, okay. Um, so this is about shapes, okay? It doesn't have to be circle, it can be any shapes you define, right? And this is another thing is about uh, value. Uh, what this was is, uh, there's a base image, and the base image is showing what different values, okay? And you can set up uh, a, a threshold, um, for example, is higher than this value, or lower than some value, okay? Um, the thing here, um, see the green, all this green, right? Uh, it's just like the value I keep, and then in the end, you will see. Uh, see here, I think the end you see here. Um, all these lines, all these lines are goes going through the higher values, like all the blue area, like this blue area. See here. Um, like this area, right? All have lines go through the, the higher value area, okay? And but the blue, they don't have any lines, okay? So it just a really significant way to uh, work with to create these kind of pattern. So I think that's it for today. I will see you next time.